As fire crews have worked to contain California's deadly wildfires, thousands of the state's iconic sequoia trees have been destroyed. Experts say at least a fifth of mature sequoias have been lost to wildfires in the past two years. Trees that have stood for at least a thousand years, if not more. Here's Stephanie Elam. We're on a hike in the Sierra Nevada mountains. <laughs> but this is a tour of sequoia destruction. I'm not happy about 2,000 to 3,000 more dead large sequoias. It's a big number to me. That's three to five percent of the remaining monarch sequoias in the world, according to a preliminary report by the National Park Service. Killed in the KMP complex fire that churned through Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks and the Windy Fire further south. And that big number is on top of an even larger loss of mature sequoias last year in the Castle Fire, part of the Sequoia complex, that wildfire eviscerating 10 to 14 percent of the world's giant sequoia population. But lessons learned last year helped save some sequoia this year. Before the Castle Fire, we had never seen losses of large trees like we had in that fire. 7,500 to 10,600 large sequoias lost in a single fire event. And that really changed what we decided we were willing to do to protect trees if we could. From literally throwing what they could at the threat, like sprinkler systems that spray trees 35 to 40 feet in the air, and dropping fire retardant gel from aircraft into hard to reach groves to extreme tree hugging, swaddling some of the world's largest trees, like General Sherman and General Grant, in structure wrap. But the loss of any sequoia, such rare and majestic beauties, is one too many to lose. It is dead. That tree is dead. It is not coming back. This tree, that is at a minimum a thousand years old, and has survived many, many, many previous fires and should have lived another 1,000 to 2,000 years, is dead, is gone. Wow, such a shame to see. Another year of drought also left the sequoias dry and vulnerable to wildfires. Experts say the tree's water source, which had been there for over 2,000 years, is no longer there due to climate change.